Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the weekly energy forecast for the week of July 13th through 19th. We're going to be taking a look at the overall themes coming in for the week, what to look out for, what we may encounter in our world this week, kind of like the energetic weather forecast, like I always like to say. Um, and I'm going to be mixing it up a little bit today and doing it a little bit differently just to keep things a little bit interesting and fresh. So um, before I do that, just really quickly, I know many of you guys have heard me talk about my new Divine Family um, video series. And um, many of you, maybe if you're not parents or you don't have children or your children are grown, um, you think that maybe it may not be appropriate for you. But one of the intentions of that program that I put together was to really help people with their own inner child healing journey. And I just want to share a comment I got the other day that really touched my heart from someone. And I'm just going to read it to you. It says, Erica, I, I wanted to say that your conscious parenting course made me cry. I never felt that I needed it, but something made me buy it. I'm not a parent, so I got it from my nephews. But when I got to the piece on the distorted masculine as parent, I realized so many wounds from my father and how I've chosen relationships that echo that wound. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I wanted to share that because many of you guys watching my videos, my videos aren't really like, you know, they're not as much mainstream videos. They're a little bit more niche, a little bit more specific in terms of the people that are drawn to my work. And all of you guys that have been writing in and taken part in my Soul Growth Accelerator and now this Divine Family, you really are on a growth journey. And um, that's not the only comment and email I've gotten like that about someone who's bought the program who is not a parent and they've found it extremely valuable. So if you're curious in checking it out, I will um, link a little sneak peek at the end of this video. If you want to take a look at the type of thing that this these videos cover, because um, the more that we can become whole and really heal our inner child wounding um, by bringing it to light, by bringing awareness to our patterns and why we continue to bring certain relationships into our lives, um, the sooner we can begin to really live from that unity consciousness, um, that higher dimensional consciousness, and truly begin to thrive in a much bigger way. So um, if you haven't checked it out, definitely do. And I want to thank those of you that have written in to me and sharing your experiences and your comments. Um, it really means the world to me to hear that feedback because I put a lot of my heart and soul into that series. And... Um, I just appreciate each and every one of you that has taken the time to write me and comment about it. I especially love hearing from a lot of the fathers that are watching those videos. So, all right, enough on that. Let's get started on the energies for the week. What can we expect in the overall energies for this upcoming week? Ooh, we're getting the whale. Live as a fully conscious being. So we may very much, Mercury's now out of retrograde officially. We still are in the shadow period. However, um, many of us are getting aligned with incredible energies and awareness through our light body, through our physical body and our light body coming in as light codes, where we are starting to get an awareness of being fully awake, fully conscious, and, or more awakened or more conscious than we have been. Um, there may be just be things coming in this week that show how we're meant to evolve and grow. Oh my gosh, we're getting freedom. Look at that. That is incredible energy to start. I knew there was another message coming in with that whale right on the heels of that. And there it is. So guys, where have you been living unconsciously? Where have you been living in illusions? Where have you been living in you know, a life that, or a situation where you've been choosing either consciously or subconsciously to stay there and ignore the things you're meant to see and learn and grow from. And for many people, that's leaving situations that are, do not serve them anymore. So let's get another card for the overall theme here. 
miracles. Check this out, you guys. Expect the wonders to emerge. Look at this. This is the genie um, in the bottle. He's just waiting for the genie to appear. He knows it's coming out. So you may feel a sense in your life this week that even though you may not be able to put your finger on what it is, you feel like something good is coming. You feel like something positive is on its way. Something that may be changing in your life, something that you've been hoping for, wishing for, and you're starting to feel like rather than it's a hope or a wish, it's actually a reality and um, a probability and something that really can emerge in your life this week. So I'm really eager to see what you guys are going to be experiencing. <laughs> um, so, or what we all will be experiencing if for that matter. So let's take a look. At what are we going to be, um, how are things going to be playing out in our outer worlds? What could we, what could we see in our outer world? And our outer world means in our physical lives, in our material lives, in the world around us. What could we expect this week showing up in the outer world? The Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Well, here is freedom for some of you. Moving away, walking away finally from a situation that wasn't emotionally fulfilling for you. And taking tangible steps forward um, to make your happiness a reality with this Knight of Pentacles. And for many of you, this is where it does involve a romantic partnership or friendship or family relationship. But to me, this is almost like somebody could be finally taking some forward steps to make a change in a relationship, maybe one where, you know, some of you may be walking away from a situation in order to move towards a true soulmate energy or a true partnership or relationship in the future. Um, others of you could be looking at a situation where maybe somebody has walked away from you in the past, but now there's some sincerity coming forward here about really seeing who you are in their life. Obviously, walking away, being free, being fully conscious, maybe being aware of why you walked away from something before or why you didn't walk away from something before, but maybe it's time to walk away. Let's get some more here. This Eight of Cups is the Ace of Pentacles. So... There's definitely a brand new beginning, something being gifted here, something that's real. Maybe this is a job that's been emotionally um, un unfulfilling for you. Maybe this is a relationship, but there's something tangible coming in that's going to have a mutual energy, a reciprocity energy here. And this Knight of Pentacles is getting the sun. Wow, incredible happiness and joy. Not a surprise this is here with this Miracles card, Freedom, Being Fully Conscious, and this Two of Cups is getting the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is incredible emotional happiness. What does somebody do when they walk away from the Eight of Cups? Some of them, it's what you're walking towards the Ten. You know, you're leaving something behind that's, that's okay, but it's not this. It's not emotional happiness, family, incredible, like the Ten out of Ten. Because many people settle for something less than because they've been taught that, oh, that's just fairy tales or no, you know, that's not realistic, whether it's whatever it is in your life. But when you're a fully conscious being and you're free and you're absolutely connected to the higher dimensional energies, you can manifest absolute bliss and happiness and reality in reality it's not just something that's in your mind and in, in in the ethers let's see how else this could be manifesting in our outer world what could we be seeing so we could be seeing a lot of partnerships coming into play new beginnings fresh starts slow and steady and sincere um, opportunities and intentions and show the world the real you so Exactly. We are closing a cycle out where we have not been our fullest potential. Where have we hidden ourselves? Like I started this reading saying, where have we kept ourselves from um, really living who we truly are? Keeping ourselves small, keeping ourselves dim, you know, 
not wanting to be braggadocious and trying to kind of dim our light. We're not meant to do that. We're meant to be these radiant, magnificent beings that are here to, to do so much, to share that light with others. And it's time to no longer dim, dim your light whatsoever. Let's see what's going on in, um, what could be going on in our inner worlds, our emotions, our thoughts. Oh, we have the Six of Wands. There's a card of victory for sure. Eight of Swords. And the Four of Wands. Wow. This is where we are manifesting and creating stability out of something where we have not, where we have felt powerless. This is where we are victorious over something. We've conquered something. We've gone through a very difficult period of change where we may have been conflicted about things or may have been competing goals. There may have been um, differing priorities and the puzzle piece is not all fitting together and we've been very frustrated. But all of a sudden, this is our hard work paying off here. Let's get some more here on what's this inner world. Let's get a card on this victory with the Six of Wands. And the chariot. Wow, another card of victory. This is a spiritual victory. This is an, um, an awakened acceleration of energy. When we become fully conscious of what we're meant to do and what our path is, it's like we're aligning this week with incredible energy to move our life forward and out of this Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is where the Seven of Wands. See, this is where we have been guarding ourselves. We've been defensive. We may have been resisting this change, resisting this path, whatever the path is for you. But suddenly it's like there is this absolute celebration of stability here in the world. See, we're becoming enlightened. We are completing a major cycle. We're beginning a tangible new cycle this week. So where in your life are you ready for a real change, a real difference now that you know truth, now that you are aware, now that you are more conscious where you are out of illusions, out of the Seven of Wands energy and the High Priestess. See, this is where you've been hiding out, hiding behind these swords, hiding behind your fears, hiding behind the, the, the limiting beliefs. And But your soul has been calling you further, and guess what? Your soul is winning this week. Your soul and your heart is overriding your mind and your ego. I love it. Who doesn't love when that happens? Although it is scary for people sometimes. They're used to running, they're used to controlling their heart with their mind. But that's not how it works. Let's get another card of how we are, our inner world, a fiery climax approaches. See, this is where the tension's been building up. We've been going through a difficult time and suddenly something bursts forward. Right? Look at this high priestess. She's just surrendering to her heart, pulling her. Just she's surrendering to her intuition. And here it is. So there's something completing, something closing out. But the, the pressure's been building somewhere in your life, wherever that is for each of you. Obviously, it's going to be different being a general reading. So let's take a look now at the... Um, I'm going to take a look... I feel like pulling one more. Hold on. Let's take a look at the supportive energies this week. What will be supporting us this week? The Page of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Well, this is where we open up our hearts. This is where we talk and communicate. This is where we could be apologizing, um, whatever this scenario may be. But this is where we're starting a new cycle of opening our heart in something tangible here. But for some people, this certainly means closing something out where you finally open up and say, you know what, this isn't working. I'm done and I'm ready to move forward in my life. There's beautiful things coming my way. I know this is a cycle that's completed and... Um, Thank you. This is where you're being very decisive. We have Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. And for certainly some of you, this could be where um, you may have chosen 
somebody, for example, maybe if you walked away from someone, you may have chosen somebody who was more logical or more tangible. And you could be, or choosing a path that's been kind of easier because you had your heart closed. You were a little cold. You were afraid to open your heart. So you took the, where did you take the easy way out? In your life is what I'm feeling. I get a card on this page of cups and the strength card. See, this is where we're having the courage to look at ourselves for where we may have taken the easy route. And how did that work out for you spiritually, right? If you take the easy route, it's not always easy when you take the easy route. But spiritually speaking, the growth really comes when you when you're courageous and you face your truths your shadows where you may have maybe made a decision that wasn't a good one and the queen of pentacles is getting the ace of wands and the queen of swords is getting the lover see this is where you might have chosen the wrong path and we're being supported to see what the right path is um, this is where we might just say you know what we're ready for a passionate new beginning if you chose somebody for example, just using a relationship as an example, but because we're getting a lot of relationship energy here um, with all these, the two of cups, the lovers, the ten of cups, the page of cups, um, four of wands, like there's just, there's a lot of relationship theme coming through. So if you've been in a situation where you've walked away from somebody and gone towards somebody that was the easy route, there was something missing, there was some sort of passion like true spiritual passion that like challenges you and, and brings out the best in you that was missing from that situation. And you're having to look at yourself. So we're being supported to really see where we may have take again, taken the easy route. I don't want to repeat myself, but let's get another card on the energy is supporting us this week. Time to give rather than take. See, this is where we're starting a cycle where we didn't give in a relationship that was challenging to us. And maybe this is a, a family relationship or a friendship. It doesn't have to be romantic. I always say that. However, with all these love cards here, this is where somebody is ready to start giving to something that they walked away from before. And they're coming in to communicate and apologize and open up. And it's they're trying to be courageous here. And where they chose the easy route and they're coming here to say, you know what, I don't want to choose the easy route. I want to grow. I want to be the best of who I am. And uh, avoiding, avoiding this was not the way to do that. Let's see what energies are challenging us this week. What could be challenging this week? The five of wands, the three of swords and the hermit. Wow. Yeah. Certainly some of you guys could be dealing with some conflicts um, and, and, and again, being conflicted and looking at yourself where you may have caused yourself heartache, where you may have caused heartache for others, um, maybe where you've been hurt, maybe where you've been conflicted. There could be some, um, again, you may have chosen a path that was, um, that was easier didn't challenge you spiritually as much. So there could be this energy of sadness and discovering more about yourself. Maybe where you've kept your happiness at bay, your, your, your happiness at arm's length because you were afraid of heartbreak. So many of you may be facing an, an incredible opportunity, but you may be challenged and conflicted because you're afraid of getting your heart broken again. So you may be, there's beautiful energy here, but the challenge could be trusting it. The challenge could be feeling like, I don't know if I can, uh, if I trust this happiness. And it's interesting because this is a theme that came in in my Lion's Gate videos for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, which is coming up here uh, beginning July 26th. So we're leading up to this time. So it's a common theme here. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, check them out because this is a very strong theme. I believe it was for the Divine Feminine. Trusting that the heart won't get broken again. 
which we all have, we are, all, we are all divine feminine energy as well as divine masculine energy. So um, let's see what this conflict is about. Temperance. See, this is where you're like integrating and the new energies and the three of swords is getting the ten of wands. See, this is where there are burdens and overwhelm and the hermit is getting the three of pentacles. See, yeah, this is just confirming what I was saying. The challenge this week could be letting go of the burdens of the past, the past heartbreak, and trusting these miracles, expecting the wonders to emerge, having this incredible freedom that is like intuitively we know things are going in a beautiful place in our world. So the challenge, though, is to um, really trust that This is an opportunity for, for, for teamwork, for collaboration, for, for connected energy, because someone's ready to give rather than take. Someone's ready to put the work in, ready to put the effort in. And yeah, with the three of cups and celebrate. Yeah, so the difficulty this week is going to be trusting these miracles. And the ten of wands here is getting the empress, right? Is this beginning... Is this new beginning really real? Can this be as good as I feel like it is? Remember, always follow your intuition. Follow your heart. And let's see what else could be challenged for us this week. What else is challenging this week? The answers you need are coming. See, this is where you're not sure what the end of the story is going to be. And that's uncomfortable. It's like you want to know how the story ends before you surrender to the plot. And that's just not how it works. But that's not easy, right? Knowing for sure, is this going to be, is this going to be right this time? Or is this going to be the same thing as in the past? You know, a new person shows up. Gosh, I was so heartbroken last time. Is this really real? Can this be this? I feel like intuitively there's something here, but I don't know. I don't want to get hurt like I was before. I'm afraid to open up. So what's hard is not knowing the end of the story which makes sense. So, all right, guys, interesting and beautiful week. I got to say, um, so I'm going to head over to the extended here. And what we're going to do there is take a look at, break it down between the divine masculine and divine feminine energies for the week. Um, inner collective masculine and feminine. We're going to look at healing themes. We're going to look at the shadow energies to pay attention to this week. We're going to look at the dynamic between the masculine and feminine energies this week. Um, but for those of you not going on to the extended, I'm just going to leave you with a guidance card. What's the best guidance for the collective for how to best navigate this week? Surrender obsessive thinking. Here it is. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you uh, help bring you clarity and even solve the problem. Like I was saying, this is where your heart, your head has been trying to tell your heart what to feel. This is where you have to shut the head off. You have to shut the mind off. Turn down that volume knob on the mind. Stop that chatter. Stop that obsessive thinking. Go within. Go into the heart. And the truth will be revealed to you. All right, lovely friends. I hope that that was helpful. I'll see some of you over on the extended. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.